is your bottom line affected by longer sales cycles, indecisive buyers, increased competition, and ineffective salespeople? Well, first thing I want to let you know is it's probably not your salesperson's fault, or at least not 100% their fault. Actually, we can blame the majority of the problem on Google and the various social media platforms that seem to be popping up like a bullet train screaming through the internet these days. But don't despair. You can fix it, and I promise it'll really be a pretty painless process. So let me show you why you're seeing the longer sales cycles, and you may have even seen a decline in sales. The reason why is really pretty obvious once you start to think about it, as business professionals, we're used to getting leads and sales from a traditional buying cycle like this. First, we suspect that a particular person or company could be a good fit for our company as a consumer. From that, we gather a prospect list, the next thing we do is we engage the prospect list to qualify those that make contact or take a specific action that we've asked them to. Then we make a proposal to those we qualified. Defend our proposal with facts. And finally, we close the sale. So to get more sales, you have to understand the new buying cycle, which is this. Prospect, your prospect is in a calm state and doesn't even know there's a problem. The next step is the prospect notices symptoms of a problem and begins researching their symptoms. They're, at this point, they're really not sure what their problem is. They're trying to frame it or isolate it. So the third step is they frame or isolate their problem. Then they begin looking for solutions to fix their problem. 78% will start to informally gather information about their problem. 59% will talk to their peers about their problem. And 44% start looking for solution providers anonymously. So you have 44% of your potential market out there searching for solutions that you can provide without you even knowing they're in need of your product. So now, how do you increase your sales lead generation systems by five times? Well, you're going to, I think you're going to be surprised. Are you ready? The answer is blogging. Real data from 4,000 businesses were studied and compared companies' blogging frequency against traffic and leads. The results showed staggering correlations. Businesses who blogged between 16 and 20 times per month got over two times more leads than those that blogged less than four times per month. And businesses that blogged at least 20 times per month had five times more leads than the group that blogged less than four times per month. So simply, by blogging 20 times or more per month, you can increase your sales by five times. Now you may be thinking, okay, but what if I do start blogging and I don't even get half that result? Because it was a test, right, or a study. So... Let's be conservative and let's say you start blogging and you only get one and a half times increase in your leads. Now we've got to figure out what is the lifetime value of a new client to you? Is it a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars? Remember, this is lifetime value, not the initial sale value. So for easy math and the purpose of this post, I'll assume your lifetime client value is just $1,000 and that you're currently getting about 50 leads per month. Now, with a one and a half times increase in leads, you'd be getting 75 leads per month or 25% more than you're getting right now. And for a sales increase, you'd see $25,000 per month or $300,000 per year. That's a pretty nice increase, right? And just think, we're just being very conservative here. Now let's think, what if you did get five times increase on your leads? That'd be 250 leads per month for an increase of $200,000 per month and $2,400,000 per year. So in conclusion, blogging is well worth taking a look at. I hope you'll seriously think about adding blogging to your marketing efforts 
And if you'd like to know more on the new sales process and how you can get more sales from it, then click on over to salesinflux.com now.